She was my daughter, a fighter, an athlete, but most of all, I think if I had to pick something, I would say that, that, that she was loved. She was three when she started skating. I figure skated when I was a kid, so I was really excited to get Leighton on the ice. Leighton was in the stroller, and I think the phrase was, how long till she can start skating? I said, today. <laughs> it came to her so quick, because she's just she was just such a natural athlete. You know, she grew up around the ice, figure skating, hockey, and then just her just being her, she just excelled at it. She wanted to do hockey. She wanted to play. She was little, but she was doing really big things. If she fell, she'd get back up. She'd make sure she did it right. The way that she would just be so unafraid going up against girls who were bigger than her, Leighton was just like, I don't care, I'm gonna beat you. She was very competitive, a, a great performer. She was nice to everybody, says hi to all the coaches. Like, I just loved her personality. If you were having a bad day, she was standing right there and you instantly felt better. Like, she always had a smile on her face. It made me laugh, like, the way her little giggle was. <laughs> if anybody was going to go to war with this or go to battle, it would, it would be her. Through the diagnosis and all the steps, I think she just kept getting tougher and tougher. She helped me through it. She helped her mom through it. Once the chemo started and she started to feel kind of icky, I think, and once it had set in that this was going to be a long haul for her. She was told she wasn't going to be able to play ball again. In true latent form, she's like, I'm going to compete. <laughs> she ended one of her seasons getting back onto the mound, got to pitch one inning. Three up, three down. Struck out all three kids. Best thing ever. And Leighton came on the ice, and everyone was trying to give her the pass so she could get the goal. If she had a dollar every time she hit the post on that, she'd be a millionaire. She hit the post so many times. And we told them right then, whatever you need, we will make sure to bring a smile to her face. That day she went, and the Coyotes recognized her, and for, for what she was dealing with. You know, she's going through all this this pain, but she still has the ability to come in and, and make other people around them happy. The energy she had, the smile she had on her face, it was like, wow, what a girl. I think it caught a lot of the players and, and even us by surprise at how just happy she was. That's something that I'm always gonna remember, uh, seeing her smile and, and just being happy uh, to get a chance to, to take that face off and win it. Leighton was a, an absolute shining star. Fun-loving, happy, and is somebody who truly made the most out of every second she had on this earth. How you can fight, you can fight with dignity. Able to impact people and do things more in her little life than a lot of us adults will ever do in our full-grown, long lives. She always willed herself to, you know, put that smile on her face. Making sure that when adversity hits, you don't, you don't back down, you take it head on. Our community was absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough about them. She's a part of this family. She's a part of this team. I was in complete awe when the team came out, when every guy came out, every guy reached out. She clearly touched so many lives. She touched so many young people, so many of, of folks here in the community. That's why we're very excited to continue to honor her. How to live life to the fullest when you are here. Enjoy every moment, and she sure did. She continues to have a legacy daily where we still talk about her. I miss Leighton. Me too. I feel like as time goes by, she's always with me. We're skating for you every day. I give her a big hug and tell her that I love her. And we're so thankful that you were in our lives. She always saw the silver lining. And I think a lot of people learn that from her. You'll be missed for forever. And we'll never be out of our thoughts. Mm -hmm.